Isaac Papke, a 39-year-old Hawaiian-born grandfather, is out to make a long-distance swim that has never before been completed. It's the stretch from the Falerone Islands to Stinson Beach near San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge. He has trained for three years to make this a successful swim, 29 miles of unpredictable tides and winds. For the first few hours, everything goes smoothly. A series of pacers enables Papke to keep up a steady 56 strokes a minute. Aboard the pilot boat, a doctor keeps close tabs on his condition and sees that he pauses for his coffee breaks. As Papke passes his 12th hour in the water, victory seems to be in his grasp. He appears to be going strong, but as the sun sinks and twilight falls, his stroke slackens. In his native Hawaii, Papke learned to swim before he could walk. And with his goal just a few short miles away, he feels he can complete the trip. His doctor, however, thinks otherwise and orders Papke from the water just two and a half miles short of his goal. Ike tells his wife he's not discouraged. He'll try again next spring. 